so so uh, so at least in 2014 right uh, so there was like no much of a clarity as to what what is going to be the government regulation people started talking about sama regulation a few uh, set of customers whom i spoke to uh, were keen about hosting their uh, instance within the kingdom of saudi arabia uh, a few people were saying that hey i'm still okay but uh, the instance should be within uh, the gcc so these were the uh, kind of uh, rejections that we got as an organization uh, in 2014 and 15 but starting from 2018 at least we are seeing a lot of traction in the kc region for uh, let it be uh, infrastructure as a service let it be platform as a service or uh, software as a service okay so uh, in a nutshell uh, people are developly uh, definitely looking into uh, having their instance hosted out of uh, a cloud based environment provided uh, the, the cloud service provider has the best in class security uh, features in place okay so in this session uh, well i would like to uh, talk about itsm okay uh, so itsm so like as most of them know uh, so there were a, a very few players in the market back then uh, but uh, we strongly started emerging as a market player uh, in the itsm space uh, starting from 2015 and uh, this is close to board we have like six seven years of experience uh, in the itsm space and we are working with a lot of uh, amazing logos uh, in the kingdom of Saudi Arabia, like Aramco, uh, let it be Panda Retail Company or uh, international school, schools groups, uh, Arab Arabia for that matter, is already using our fresh service solution. So without any further delay, let me quickly share my screen and take you through the presentation that I would like to run you today. Okay. So, so I, I want to talk about why, I, first of all, I want to uh, explain why is that we have uh, termed this as, as right-sized service management solution, okay? So, uh, so let's take the likes of uh, ServiceNow or BMC Remedy. Uh, um, so what would happen is it's, it's not quite not possible for them to, uh, or, or an organization which is like less than 200 employees in size, which has got a very limited, uh, IT uh, team says let's take uh, three four people in in team size. It's it was not possible for those sort of companies uh, to implement uh, an ITSM solution for that matter. Okay, so that's where uh, we uh, Freshworks as an organization comes into picture. That's because we are really not. Uh, worried about the size of an organization, let it be 10 or 10,000. Uh, we don't mind that's because that, that's how efficiently we have bundled the solution. Uh, as in, we have like many pla plans within our platform and we give the uh, flexibility to the customer to, to choose from. Okay. So, so these are the key market trends, as you can see. Uh, so, so now, nowadays, especially after COVID, people are definitely talking about customer experience, okay? So there were different ways in which uh, people, uh, people would like to uh, handle the uh, customer engagement side of things. At the same time, people are also uh, more uh, uh, worried about how the employees, uh, what, what sort of uh, experience that the employees are getting, what, what sort of self-service that the, that the employees are getting at this given point in time. So that's where uh, uh, Fresh Service as a as a ITSM platform plays a very vital role in the digital transformation journey. Okay, so uh, so I, I'm just talking about the few uh, basic issues that uh, I mean any any CIO or IT director or IT manager who's in this particular uh, call will definitely resonate with all the points that's being uh, mentioned here. Uh, okay, so so. It's uh, like all the legacy softwares are very clunky to use. And uh, the main problem that we saw back in Saudi Arabia's adoption. Okay, so if it is going to be very clunky, the, uh, definitely there is an adoption problem. So whenever we talk to any CIOs, they are more concerned, not, not even about the cost, they are more concerned about the change management side of things. Okay, so so that's where uh, Fresh Service uh, is, is a very lightweight tool wherein it's very user-friendly with an amazing UI, okay? And uh, um, so the maintenance cost is also at the, at, the, at the lower level, okay? And we have the potential to collaborate between different uh, teams within an organization. Uh, so uh, for us as a product, it's not only an idle 
uh, or a or a product that can fulfill the needs of the IT department, but this can also be uh, extended to departments like uh, 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 departments like HR, finance, admin. So Freshworks is an organization, right? We are a four thousand employee organization, and all the four thousand folks uh, are uh, relying upon a, a fresh service to raise the ticket. So, so uh, this particular platform is actually spread across all the departments within my organization. So. One of the key thing that we started noticing, uh, especially after COVID is, uh, people are definitely re-looking into uh, the legacy softwares that they have implemented, either let it be a homegrown application or uh, an application, a legacy tool that they've been using, uh, which is far more expensive when compared to uh, uh, for a service, okay? So as you can see, uh, uh, so so uh, this, is a, this is a quote that was given by Gartner himself, wherein uh, people are actually overspending for the features that's not uh, used actually. So again, as I told you, that's where Fresh Service stands out, wherein we give the flexibility to the off, to the customer to choose the product that, uh, to choose the plan that they want. Okay. So uh, I wanted to uh, touch base as to how, uh, uh, how we are actually uh, differentiating uh, in the entire uh, spectrum of ITSM. Okay, so for us, service as a product, right? So uh, let, let's take IT. Uh, so uh, we come up with REST APIs, okay? So which means we have the potential to uh, 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 to collaborate or integrate with any third-party application which has a REST API option, okay? So nowadays, uh, in uh, so and if you look at our marketplace application, we have like not anything less than uh, six hundred plus uh, marketplace applications. And we give the flexibility to the customer to plug and play as and when they want. Okay. Uh, likewise, uh, people are definitely talking about a lot about chatbots. Uh, and at least we put like four years of uh, energy into building our chatbot functionality, which means our platform, uh, our fresh service platform comes with uh, an intelligent employee experience where self service is available, chatbots are available, and whatnot right so again uh, uh, so uh, all the it leaders when 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 we start talking to them uh, they are more concerned about the self service uh, so they are very focused about deflecting the l1 tickets that is coming to them so that is where the knowledge management comes into picture okay uh, so so i i just wanted to talk up a, a, a few things about our customer stories okay uh, so so we have empl we have customers who, who, which is a greenfield implementation, when I say greenfield implementation, wherein they don't have any ITIL uh, or uh, an ITSM tool, probably they'll be like using their uh, emails uh, for receiving the queries from their uh, uh, employees. So that's going to be a very tedious process, right? So it's not possible for them to have a proper SLA. It's not prop, uh, it's not very uh, organized as in uh, your agents uh, or your technicians will not be able to uh, pick up the tickets or they will not be able to keep a track of uh, what are the tickets that has been responded and what are the tickets that needs response to. Okay, so that, that's where the entire problem comes into picture. And I've seen companies who would actually maintain all the uh, tickets that is coming to your to their email box in an Excel sheet, uh, manually calculating the SLAs, uh, manually updating the statuses. That's a very tedious process. And the management is also not very... Uh, keen about uh, 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 seeing an Excel sheet with, with no proper data. So that's where uh, Fresh Service comes into picture and wherein uh, even if it is a small sized or, or a huge organization, uh, we, are, we have the potential to, to, uh, uh, to, to, to cater to their needs. Uh, likewise, uh, we've seen organization implement Fresh Service within a time span of two weeks. Okay, uh, uh, wherein there are like very less complex integration, we, we, uh, there is like definitely no lengthy implementation cycle. Okay, uh, because we do, do have the proven uh, methodology uh, uh, for, for implementing uh, such, uh, uh, such a tool within a very short time span. And the good thing is we give the flexibility uh, to the customer to upgrade as and when they want. Okay, so so right now when we uh, approach an organization, they might be very small in size, probably 100 or 200. But uh, eventually they, when they grow up, definitely there is a need for them to look at various features, uh, which is not available in the current plan. So we give the flexibility to the customer 
to scale up or upgrade to the higher plans as and when they want. Okay. Likewise, uh, uh, when it comes to the support, right? Uh, so we make sure that all the even the L1 support is being taken care of by Freshworks directly. Uh, so 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 uh, one common issue that uh, we came across is uh, uh, when it comes to the partner ecosystem, they were uh, they were good, but at the same time they uh, they expect. Uh, uh, so yeah, uh, so I, I also wanted to talk about the other common issues that uh, my my customers my my face. Okay, so again, we give the uh, leeway to our customers wherein uh, they need not pay uh, upfront for the licenses that's that's not being used. Okay, so so we have seen customers who actually opted for a very uh, limited number of licenses to start with, but eventually they'll scale up. Okay, so we don't, uh, we, we, it's not a bulk purchase model wherein we don't charge the customers exorbitantly at, at one shot. Uh, or at the beginning itself. So we scale with the customer. Okay, so we have customers who actually upgrade one or two licenses every week and we are more than happy to accommodate so such kind of uh, changes also. Okay, uh, and definitely there are like no hidden cost. Okay, so uh, what we have done is we, we have bifurcated uh, uh, the different plans. Uh, uh, let's take growth, pro and enterprise. Um, uh, so growth is... Uh, especially for uh, smaller organizations, uh, which which needs uh, the basic ITIL uh, or I would say the basic ticketing system, along with uh, along with service catalog. So that's very much available uh, in the growth plan. And if the customer wants uh, change management, problem management, uh, or uh, asset management kind of features, or even uh, project management kind of features, which is available in the pro plan. Okay. And again, if, if, if it is an enterprise customer wherein they would need a sandbox environment or more on the AA side of things, that is where enterprise plan comes into picture. Okay. So main USP of a product is uh, it's, it's a plug and play and it, we give a great user experience. Okay. So uh, that's one uh, main reason why people have started migrating to Fresh Service from the legacy tool uh, because uh, first thing, the support cost is like very much, very much minimal because there is like no hidden cost. There is no separate support cost uh, in our business model. Okay. And the agent is becoming productive uh, or, or within a very short uh, time span. Okay. And we also have something known as QBRs wherein uh, we keep the management folks informed saying that, uh, hey, these are the features that, that you have opted for, but this is kept unused. Okay. So we have a dedicated CSM team. Uh, and their main responsibility is to make sure that the product adoption uh, is at its max. Okay, so these are the different factors that we try to uh, tie together or rope together and give as a speed up solution uh, to our uh, set of customers uh, uh, in the ITSM space. Okay, so we are uh, also uh, listed in Gartner's Magic Quadrant for the past uh, uh, three years now. Okay, so these are a couple of uh, logos that we are like working with. Let it be Panda Retail Company, Al Jazeera Ford, Kerry Ford, uh, Aramco, Shopify, Abdul Latif Jamil, uh, Sharab DG, Tanmaya Chicken, Arabia, Al Hokir. I can keep naming a lot of customers who who have opted for fresh service over other uh, competitors of ours. So definitely, if you are uh, interested in getting to know more about uh, fresh service solution, feel free to reach out to us. And we are more than happy to help you. And we also give 21 days free trial uh, to all our customers just to make their hands dirty because we want the customers to take a very informed decision. So that's why we give a 21 days free trial, make sure that the customer is trying out the product. And then only after which we even like uh, uh, ask the customer to go ahead uh, with, with their uh, decisions. So uh, I'm, I'm happy to uh, answer any questions that you might have and uh, really looking forward to work with all each and every folk here uh, in this forum. Thank you. Thank you so much.